all of a sudden you just see like through through the window this old guy like carrying my stepbrother basically by the collar of a shirt by his neck like a juvenile delinqu delinquent delivers us my our stepbrother to the, to the door and is like it's black hoodie i'm back cooking these goodies look at these views from cooking these foods yeah Yo, welcome to this installment of Pulling Up with a Proper Plate of Pasta. That is what's going down today. Your man had a heavy crave for some spaghetti bolognese, twisted up my style, and I'm ready to get savage and do damage. So before we do anything more here, you guys know the drill, okay? We must make noises with forks and pour. We got a mixed blend of cubes. Some are the Christmas maker cubes and some are the 80s tray cubes because I had to amalgamate and combine forces to get this achieved today. Because once again, you guys, I was slacking on my pimping on my ice game deal. Because sometimes, you know, it's just, you got to be mindful of your ice. At least I do in my situation. I don't have a fridge that's constantly making it. And boy, do I miss the days of having a fridge that gave me water and provided me the icy nectar of the gods in cube form uh, in an easy fashion because that made life so good. And hopefully I'll get there one day again. Very soon, I think. We must. We're back on the doctor today. Doctors in the building, of course. We had some weird switch-ups there. We had a Red Bull at one point. We had a Mountain Dew. We had iced tea, even. And I gotta say, those iced tea pours, too clean, too clutch, too wonderful. This, same boat, too clean, too clutch, too wonderful. Check out this garlic bread, looking way too perfectly toasted. I'm here for it to love it and need it and provide it everything that it wants and needs in its life uh, and in my mouth. So this is spaghetti bolognese. Uh, the meatballs I didn't make from scratch. They're just some, some frozen boys and the bolognese sauce once again, also from a jar. Just cause your guy wasn't going full grandmama, full Italiano on it today. And it does have fresh Parmesan. And it does have sour cream. Now I know that sour cream is gonna trip some of y'all up for real. And believe me, I get it. But if you just gave it a try, you would understand that the sour cream cuts through the, the bolognese sauce. It's just like, just, you know, silky, buttery, heavenly smooth type vibes so we blow for good luck so as not to murder our mouth and we have the bite that i've needed for about 20 hours at this point it's an intermittent fasting thing in this world try it
Bruh. Oh my god. It hits so incredibly different. So incredibly different. Mm -mm. Exactly what I was looking for today. Amazing. Amazing, 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 amazing. <clears throat> this is one of those meals that it doesn't really get a lot of play in my life. When I really cra crave it, I go for it, but I don't eat a ton of pasta. But when I do eat it, I'm easily reminded as to why people love it so much. This is my favorite noodle. It's like a spaghettini, very thin pasta. That's the only thing that pasta makes thin is itself because it certainly doesn't help making people thin. That's for sure. <sighs> Extra Parmesan. Might as well just add all the Parmesan. There's no point in not Parmesaning the absolute death out of it. It just makes sense to me. For my next trick, a subscriber of mine and me talked about how good spaghetti sandwiches are and how they are crucial when you're having a little, little pasta vibe. So if you're watching this, you know who you are. Think, think Instagram, think our Instagram conversation regarding spaghetti sandwiches. If you'd like to follow my Instagram, hoodie noir is my handle on Instagram. We are going to, of course, get crazy with sour cream and sauce it. And we're going to put pepperoncinis on it too. And we're going to do this. And we're going to make a glorious Italian spaghetti sub dinner snack. Mm -hmm. That is next to godliness. Who knew that carbs inside of carbs would be such a good idea? Spice it up with a meatball. And just enjoy life. If, if food really isn't one of the best things in life, I don't know what is.
back to the regular programming, the normal broadcasting. So I was regular, I was craving this because There's an Italian hall near my house. It's called the Da Vinci Center. And they do like catering and dinners and all that stuff. And like a lot of weddings and things go down there. And they are famous for their like spaghetti and meatball like takeout dinners and when I was a kid growing up my family would we'd go and you get like a bucket full of their meatballs and sauce and spaghetti you bring it home and you just chuck it together and have a big like family style Spaghetti and meatball that night. But you know, when you get it from there, it's like, it's legit, like, you know, special. Just has that, that flavor that you can't recreate at home. You know, it's just, it's their secret recipe and it's just like nostalgic. just got that nostalgia to it so I live pretty close to it right now and uh, I was like I wonder you know I wonder where the, when their next one is I was really hoping because in my head I thought it was like every Tuesday and then I called and then she was like ah we do it like every like once every like two or three months I was just like, damn. I'm really hurting for that. So, your guy had to take it into his own hands and do it for himself. In a very delicious way still. Do not get me wrong. This is incredibly delicious. And eating this meal and like that spaghetti from that place specifically always reminds me of this one time when we had gotten the spaghetti and uh, we were all eating it like as a family. But my youngest stepbrother, who was like seven or eight at the time, was nowhere to be found and didn't like show up for dinner. And we're like, you know, getting kind of worried. Like even like his mom and stuff was like, where is this kid? Like, what is he doing? We assumed he's out playing and just never came home for dinner and stuff. But we were all in the kitchen eating and we we're just about to finish up dinner and uh all of a sudden you just see like through through the window this old guy like carrying my stepbrother basically by the collar of a shirt by his neck like a juvenile delinqu delinquent delivers us my our stepbrother to the, to the door and is like I caught this little shit and his other little shit friend rummaging through cars, stealing change and shit in, the, in this parking lot, blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, and he was all like, you know, sad and crying and shit. And uh, everybody like, you know how 
when your sibling is in trouble or whatever. <laughs> Pretty cool of the guy to not like get cops involved. I guess it doesn't really make sense because when somebody's that young, it's like they're so juvenile offender. Like, what's a cop gonna do? He's just gonna. It's just a waste of time. Like you're just. He's just gonna do like. You know, be a little shit, don't be a little shit, but there's not much I can do. Like, this isn't going to be, like, on your record ever. Like, you know what I mean? So, the dude just brought him to our house and, like, told us, you know, my, my stepmom and dad and stuff. Needless to say, he didn't get any sp spaghetti and meatballs that night. He got sent to bed hungry and immediately. Funny times. The dumb shit we do as kids. Pasta is filling fast. And this plate of it. I don't know how big it looks to you, but in real life, it's actually very, very lots. It's a lot of pasta <laughs> and it is defeating me really quickly. I legit can't go any further. I'm so full. I can't even believe how full I am considering how hungry I was but hey that's what happens right you push yourself to that ragged edge of hunger a lot of times your stomach shrink up you get fuller faster but damn that was good so enjoyed that hope you did too till the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true